I don't know where I left off, but um, yeah, those are the things I want to do with my life. The top two being keep people safe and make music. Bottom two, uh, write and collect games. And that's why I haven't really been buying any games, honestly. Because I don't have the fucking money to do it, and I need to think about spending money on something else. Because, man, my job is something right now. I will say, I would not mind making a video game. Oh, it's finally time for the part I remember. Oh, I didn't tell you my dream video game. What is it? Uh, I think I kind of told you before. As you are aware, Made in Abyss is a anime and a manga. Yeah, but I've had this idea. Yeah, I've definitely told you about this before. Basically, uh, an adventuring kind of platformy game in a world very much like Made in Abyss. And you play a character who has the fucking snippy snap arms and you can reach out, grab stuff. And, um, you know, I have the idea of, uh, what the hell is her name, Rico? Yeah. I have the idea of guiding her or helping her traverse the abyss from Eco, that PS2 game. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, he died. I had the idea of guiding her in that same sense where it's like, you go off and fucking fight monsters or whatever, but you got to extend your arm back away so she can cross this plateau. And she, you know, she like climbs across it and you like guide her. But I've had this idea. I don't know. It's, it's evolved in my head in a million different ways so that it isn't just the story of made in abyss you know so i've 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 got a bunch of ideas for how i would do it nice <laughs> he's no match and um you know i would just i don't know i would want to make a game where you've got a dude with two grappling hooks two two yes actually i think i talked about it in our like little game jam thing I think I do remember it. Where you have your grappling hands, but then there's also pickaxes. And you can, like... Honestly, it would be best if it was a side-scroller. Wait, this is where I came in from. Is it? I think so. It may be. We'll find out in a second when it tells you to fuck off. I think as a side-scroller, it would be better and much simpler. <laughs> because I had this idea where... You have two grappling hooks and you have two pickaxes. Where you throw the pickaxe, you can grab onto and hang onto. Oh, okay. Yeah. But if you just hold on to the pickaxes, you can just fucking swing. And, you know, like there's boss fights where you basically get the get the chance to put your own hook points at different areas. Putting that in 3D, absolutely fuck that. That's so complicated. That fucking scares me, even though I haven't even imagined. Oh, look uh, at that over there. I think if I did it in a side scrolly perspective, it would work better. Because in a 3D perspective, it's fucking nuts and stupid and bullshit. Even though I can visualize it. That's the part that I hate. I can see it in my head exactly how it would all play out. But that doesn't fucking mean anything. After starting reading uh dante's inferno now i've started introducing the idea of making it parallel that oh because made an abyss you go into the abyss and there's hell yeah oh they're playing the battle music oh they got goopulons this is this fucking what is this music it's the it's our penis it's our penis it's our penis it's oh our we have the lyrics for that. Yeah. That oh, is, the Brainulon. Oh I remember God. him. Amazon has gotten bad. Oh, this is the game where you fight the fucking Columbus. Yeah. That man just populated in front of me like that. I can't believe they made legalities. They made legalities. That's my ideal game is basically if you could turn Made in Abyss into a game. That's that's act, that's legitimately my ideal game. The game about going in a big hole. Yes. But because I would have to skew it into a different direction so that it's not literally made in abyss, 
you know, the story. <sighs> um, I would try to make it so that it's some, it's, it's either an allegorical story, it's just a fun, complex action game with lots of zany platforming. And, you know, if I had to summarize the story, it would be that, like, the people in the area above, for some reason, did not accept you. They did not want you there. So you thought you would go down. And down there, you discover something quite not good. Oh. Where did, How did she, she get a human pistol? Yeah, she got two of them. And you have one. Marin, it's me. Gideon? No, get out of here. Oh, it's Cyclopion. You don't know what this thing can do. I think we know pretty... Jesus Christ. She was right when she said she had training. Anyways, while she's getting squeezed by the Flimbor... Can I target you, please? No, he's not fightable yet. You gotta fight him over through that. No, let him finish, Ryan. Come on. Don't... No, it's okay. Don't worry. Actually, no. Free them. How do I let him out? Shoot. No. All right. Don't believe Chris. Chris is a liar. Wait, is that actually how you Chris do it? Chris lies about everything. Oh, my God. Chris is a... How did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> this is a complete video game. <laughs> Anyways. There's big rocks that you could throw at him, but those don't matter. I imagined a kind of allegory of going down and then coming back up. And I imagined this before I read Dante's Inferno. I was trying to think of wi of reasons to, like, justify it. Oh, you're, are you actually going to do the blast back? Oh, no, you're doing telekinesis. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that was beautiful, dude. Just punch him. You win. Wow. <laughs> that... The speedrun didn't even do that. What the fuck just happened? Oh, what the hell? The brain Yulon. Come hither. And spit. He did not do that. How did you kill it so fast? I'm good. Uh, we we need to look up the speedrun after this. This is Gideon. What's wrong? Our dismantle teams have just discovered a massive self-destruct system. It is triggered to go off shortly. You must leave. Where can we leave you? <clears throat> Typical. We gotta go. We're pretty deep underground. Hope you brought your running What shoes. are you talking about? We're standing on a landing platform. Cover me while I get this thing airborne. We're gonna fly a tank out? It wasn't until that cutscene that I finally, finally, I've acknowledged. Their legs are gross, dude. Thank you. It, 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 it took, it took Marin running across to Banjo-Kazooie-ass lava level. Oh, he hey, look. Yep, it's time for you to go that way. You have to get in it. Damn. What I am trying to say is I had an idea of a Made in Abyss type game where you are banished from the surface area, you go down, something happens, and you determine it's time to go back up. What happens after that, I haven't decided. But I like to think that you determine that there is a reason for you to, I don't know, go back down and actually face what is down there because you can. A little bit of Dante's Inferno, a little bit of Made in Abyss. I don't know. Maybe the Abyss game would probably be pretty cool. I would like yes! a survival aspect to it, I think. Because, mm -hmm. like, going down the the big hole needs to be an adventure. I not know. just, like, platform. I know, I know. You're right. I, I actually had an idea. If you just jump off the ledge, there are, like, segmented areas where if you just jump down, you land in a specific area on the next level. So, like, if you know what you're doing, you could speed run it. It'll be not fun, but you could just like jump down to the next section in the right area, get the items you need, fight the enemies you need. I, I thought about that. And, uh, oh, a green mech. Oh, huh? fuck. You need to get behind these fucking things. I do? Yes. 
What am I hiding from? I know what weapons are good. You are actually per and they keep giving you the crawl ammo. Yeah, they know. They, they know. Find transportation. You mean walk? Wow, he almost killed me. Whoa! Oh, no, it's the sniper boy. Anyways, that's a game I've been wanting to make for a long time. And will probably want to make for the next 15 years. So. <laughs> Let me just ride. Let me just send my corpse up this elevator. Wait till he gets on the elevator. Then he won't notice that his neck has a hole in it. Oh, God. No, they didn't. They. You're fine. Bring the elevator down, please. No, you're okay. Don't worry, Ryan. Oh, well, he died. I guess there's not actually any need for me to go up. Oh, I can go up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's my thing. I want to make that game, and I want to make music. I want to make beautiful fucking music. Why did you do that? There's nothing... Why? It's fun. Good point, dude. Why do anything? It's fun. I don't <clears throat> know if I even want to use the tank. Do I need Just, it? Just, it's extra health. Oh. Uh, you can run into people and make the sound happen, Ryan. The kathunk. The kachug. You know the sound. Yeah. And you can, like, speed boost. This fucking Bond villain ass ending. Ooh, the whole island is gonna blow up. Ooh. Is it? Is that what's happening? Yeah, that's what It they doesn't said. feel like it. Really Ooh, doesn't. You have to hurry. Keep up with your hot girlfriend. Really doesn't feel like it because she's not here. Wow, these things are stronger than you. All they all they did was ah, put two crawl lancers on the front of this. Extra car. <laughs> you just fucking shoot a dude and run him into the lava and left his homie over there. It's like, I can't wait until we stop the advent rising from passing. Yeah, John Advent. <laughs> And then you fucking shoot one. He goes, ah! And then you hit him with the car. And he goes, ah! And then he's in the lava. And he dies. Yeah. I love it. The greatest story ever told. John Advent. <laughs> John Advent was just a normal guy. Until he started rising. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone said, stop! You should take care of that stop! at home. Everyone said, I'm on fire. What are you doing? After this, I think it's pretty much that last moment in the game. Maybe. No, I I, I believe so. After after you get past this this fucking driving across the lava, that's it. You're in the You're church. Just buddy. Innocence over there now. They they can't even defend themselves. Oh my god. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, there I am. Oh. You I were, was supposed to get out of my car. You were so cl you were so right about wanting to get out. Hello? What the fuck? I don't even want it anymore. Are you what in the area where you need it? Oh yeah, right there. This is a new car. Right here. Right here. Yep. This is where you were coming down and you got into the Yep, right here. Ryan! What? What is a creative effort that you are passionate about? What do you mean? Like, give me a like Music, a... art, oh. fingers, you know, like, take your... <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Which, 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 which creative art do you think you're the most passionate about? For me, it's music. There are so many songs that to this day will make my spine go kajiga as as they did in Pixar's Disney Cars. I mean, they say that all all art aspires to do what music does. So hmm. I've never heard that before. Music is like art perfected, basically. Look, I'm a music man. I'll, I'll I will agree to that wholeheartedly. I don't even know what the fuck you're saying or where it came from, but well, yeah. you think about it like a good painting does to a person mm. what good music does. I don't know about that. Yeah. No. I've never gotten tingles from a from any piece of visual artwork. Yeah, but that's what it's you're hoping to accomplish. No. No? No. What do you hope to accomplish then? Nothing. When I look Fuck at off, Chris. Come no, on. no, no. There has no. to be like a thing that you would try to accomplish with artwork if you're gonna no. make artwork. Oh, if I'm making oh I'm sorry, if I'm making artwork, yes, sure. If I'm looking at artwork, I have no fucking idea what I'm looking at. I I have no idea what Just I'm go, looking at right go, now. Go, 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 go. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. You were wrong. You were wrong the whole time. You were wrong the whole time. Oh There's... my god, I can't even. Just get in the car. Just get in the car. 
Just get in the car and go shoot that sh Oh, oh, actually, just go that way. Yeah. Not as far as making art, but I th I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about interpretation. No, I've never seen, like, visual. What the hell does your power doing to them? What does it doing to them? <laughs> I, y like, you hit it with them and I heard. Yeah, the game really struggles. That's it. Run away, everyone. I think we're at the end of the game. Yeah. This Those is it. cloth physics were really, really well rendered for this game. So. Fuck you, Seekers. Yeah. Die. I would. I wish I could have folded each of you in half personally. Oh, look, he's all sad because he thought the humans didn't survive. But there's me. Using the bubble shield. Good oh, thing I leveled that my up. God, her tits. Yes. <laughs> Motorboat those things I could now. Not, I could not take that face seriously. Holy shit. Yeah, you actually are God now. Until new God is about to show up. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna crinkle them. That's it, we're done. Anyways, no, I've never felt fucking tingles from a painting. If I was making it, sure. But no, I'm I'm not as... I, I know that, Chris, but what I'm saying is, is that's the objective with yeah, good yeah, art. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Is I to get, get, get somebody, that. like, so enthralled that, like, mm. the fucking hairs on their neck stand up and go, lee 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 I could not relate to that with physical artwork. I think physical artwork looks great, but I just can't feel that. Oh, Ah, his I saw those red panties. They give you, they give you just a little quick, little, 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 uh, little, <laughs> little, <laughs> little <laughs> just a little. <laughs> My left ear is popped, dude. I can't do anymore. Okay. The cut goes like all the way up, dude. I know. Jesus Christ. I want to get married here, dude. <sighs> Like, man, these frog people, they made this dress for you, but, like, I think they really want, like, you to have kids, like, now. Never before have my people stood so united. The possibilities spread out before us seem limitless. We need to be down to the envoy vessel shortly, my friend, so I'd better go and make some fun. You want to fuck my wife, don't you? If you'll excuse me. <laughs> Did he really just call us? My translator had gone buggy. I wonder what this Galactic Senate is going to be like. It seems like I'm still a Senate. Strangeness in this world. I don't know. The norm said that there are some races out there that even make the Seekers look tame. Hmm. Is it too late to change my flight? Hey, come on, no worries. Man. Change your flight to where? That's that is the moment I shook off my headphones and I can't hear what's actually being said right now. The only demigod on this flight. Yeah. Oh, what'd she do? Oh, she got power. Yeah. What power? Fire. That's not She's a proven. She could be a little dommy mommy not every now and then. Not a power. Not a real power. It is. She lied. If I can control ice, she can control fire. No, she can't. She can melt a little wax on me. She you know? lied. Maybe, maybe burn me a little bit. Just a little. Oh, it happens after the credits. Yeah, it happens after the Holy credits. Holy shit. I'm going to go take a piss. Yeah, they hide that shit Holy from fuck. You're like, oh, oh it's my just God. credits. It's just credits. It's just Todd Sheridan no, and Jeremy no, this Mustard. Game, this game is so fucking cool. I can't believe it. It's just Christopher S Salmon and Keir Knowlton. Christopher Salmon? Yeah, that's his name.